Where did it all begin? Why are we here? Who are we? Where do we come from? What does it all mean? So I'm taking a walk over here because I've always found this building here very interesting. I'm in a park with giant electricity <laughs> apparatuses. And I'm also going to show you a couple other things in this park that can withstand high amounts of pressure. Okay. All right. Now, get over here. See this building? I actually went to school in this building for a while. What? Right now we're gonna talk about, it has a funny shape, in my opinion, and it also has telltale signs. Telltale signs, you know, anybody who watches this kind of content knows that we have this stripe pattern in the building, and it's, you know, it's kind of curved along with the curve of the street, right? So it's. It sort of uh, fits perfectly. Something that, you know, in my opinion, we don't do. But when we look at the old world, there's a lot of curved buildings on curved surfaces. And um, to tell you the truth, California, especially my area and the adjacent areas, uh, the adjacent cities around here, we have a lot of curved buildings. You know, they sit on the curb of the sidewalk. So, and of course, you know, the side, the curb, we, one of the things about all this old world stuff is that we may be uh, walking on sidewalks that are actually roofs of these buildings because these buildings I don't know if this is an old world building but it sure feels like it to me and the one thing that brought me to that is this church now we're gonna run over here across the street to this church it's a, a, a Lithuanian church I don't know you know we'll, we'll do the whole uh, now I'm gonna go online after this show you Oop, that sun we'll get rid of that sun pretty soon so I don't know what you people think of this church but I think the steeples taken off I don't know how old this is I believe they say it was built in 1965 but the thing is this church and these two little buildings next to it plus the one on the end that I find has strange geometry, if you will. Um, it's all one connected structure. Yes, they make it look like it's not, but it is. You know, that, that's the thing that keeps catching my eye. I've seen this building a lot of times. I think this building is very large, and like I said, definitely we, they, they took the, the top off this church. There's a big crack. I don't know if you can see it. But they actually damaged it, taking it apart, huh? Unless, I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's possible that that's what happened. Like I say, we see some very similar aspects. I'm gonna take a look around here. Maybe that's a little brighter for you. And of course, this church has a it's retained. And I'll show you what I mean. Now, I don't know. There's one little
See again, that's the second building, and it's 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 attached to the. And of course, this is us, right? I just don't know. You know, I I hope I'm giving you a pretty good idea of why I think this church has some strangeness. I love these arches. But again, you know, this could have been built whenever. Does it seem mud floody to you? I'm gonna give you a shot from down here again. These are steps, right? We go down some big, some pretty big steps. And this is what it looks like from the street, looking at these pillars. Now, sometimes at night, these square windows at the top, they, um, they're all stained glass. You probably can't see it in the, in the camera, but, um, you know, sometimes they turn the lights on up here and it looks beautiful. I wish they'd do that more often. Now we have these square windows and of course we have these. And see what I mean by it's graded? All along this church, it's graded up and of course we have the stairs. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure out whether this is a mud flood. And this is cracked right here. I wonder if that's a facade. I mean, I imagine this is a facade. Because I'm thinking this is brick underneath. Right, but when I get into the corners, I'm really not sure. But this is really high. Look at where this is compared to my body. This is retaining the, the grass, right? And I know we don't see any windows down on the thing, but this is the same building. Okay, and this is some weird brick. Obviously, I think this is some kind of, you know, this is a facade, I'm, I'm, I'm imagining, right? But this sidewalk could all be just the second roof to this whole building, if you know what I mean. Like, we're walking on platforms of the old world. These two buildings, again, that's not, it's brick, of course. Of course it's brick, it's old brick. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see. It's, it's all, it's, we, so we have this on the outside here. Then we have this brick, which you can't really get maybe. I mean, right there, obviously you can see. There's some smashed brick. And then we have this, another facade, right? And these glass, thick glass, they always make me wonder. Oh, excuse me. They always make me wonder, is this old tech? Now, I will say that uh, these long windows, okay, they're also on the church. There's one there. Right, so again, I, oh, of course we have our little holes. Let's not forget those. You know, who decided to do those? And they're really thick. Look how thick this thing is. Let's just get over here. Let's go up here. Again, look how high I am from the street. They had to make this because this might not have never been a door. But anyway, we'll see how thick this is, right? And that's only the outside. It's thick. And these things... 
I mean, just the way this thing is constructed makes me feel like it has some telltale signs. Can't get the other one from up here. Okay. So now, again, back over here. And I agree, there's no, there's no, uh, what would you call that? You know, there's no cellar windows covered up. But all this is facaded, and I don't know if this is some kind of original thing going on here. I, I mean, I never saw bricks laid like that ever. Have you? Um, I, I, and I've been in a lot of cities, and I've been across the United States, and I'm not. Shh, I never really saw this before. I think it's cool, but if you have, you have. But I never have. It's one of the things that stuck out to me about this whole little block a long time ago when I came out here. And I actually went to school in this building. Now I imagine, and this building is part of these buildings, you know, the whole thing is one building, and all facaded to look different. This is a brick facade, for sure. It's made, I think, to look, look the way it's banded. It's interesting, right? Um, uh, back to the bricks. The bricks are made to look modern, but that might just be a facade. Um, I think it's all brick. Like those, these bricks here. Those bricks have been painted a long time ago. Are they old world bricks? Not, I'm not saying that. I'm just not sure what's going on. But as you can see, this building follows the actual sidewalk. The same, um, what would you call it? The same shape, yep. The building and the sidewalk is the same shape. Now, I might keep this on while I go. So anyway, you know, I just think that's interesting. That church has been, this corner, this part of the corner, uh, you know, it bugs me. There's a, there's a huge gaping hole in this uh, structure as well. This is the sidewalk in the... And of course... And then the side, of course, is... You can't really see what might be inside there. Because... You know, as I said, I didn't even know about this, but see this new, this, this is a facade. And then there's another facade. So what's under all this facade? You know, there's literally four layers of, of, of covering up. And again, I'm not saying there's any mystery to any of this. I, I just don't know. I mean, this is a strange structure for a building. Which architect said, yeah, we gotta put this on the, we're gonna put this, we're gonna put this on the corner and we're gonna make it match perfectly with what the sidewalk is doing. Was the, you know, again, I, I think I mentioned already that I, I went to school in this building. It wasn't this place at the time. It was called Video Symphony. And that's why I came to California, to uh, further my education, my brother and I, these windows always. The East Coast, a lot of the old, um, a lot of the old uh, dwellings in the East Coast have these, lots of them, you know. And I think they might have had something to do with um, the steam. Uh, heating apparatuses that the East Coast used. A lot of houses on the East Coast, uh, they used to heat the floor with steam. And uh, that was the most marvelous thing. You get up in the morning, bare feet. You don't need no socks, no shoes, no nothing. You just got a nice, beautiful, warm floor, whether it was, uh, you know, wood or... Uh, any material you could have marble it'll still be warm because it's it's it was all the our heat came from a pipe system underground it was the best thing I ever had in my life 
Now I'm gonna go over to a new location and I'm gonna take you over there. Uh, I don't know how much I'll keep the thing on. Oh, the other, shoot. Let me, uh, I gotta turn this off and run, run across the street. Uh, maybe I don't have to turn this off, but I don't want you guys to, uh, I don't want you be, me getting killed to be on tape because it'll be my fault. In California, this is a no-no. Do not cross streets like this. <laughs> On the East Coast, man, you just run if you got a second. You know, that's how I grew up. Just run. Make it before the car hits you. But out in California, the cars aren't supposed to hit people because we're supposed to use crosswalks, which I didn't even grow up with crosswalks. I'm doing a lot of babbling, but again, here's that damn building. I don't understand this architectural. I just, I'm, because my mind goes to the architects. Oh, I know what we'll do. I think I already explained it. I don't know if that church, even if that church was built in 1965, even if it was, right? Or maybe it was built in 1935 and they're not telling us the truth. Whatever the case, even if it was, who took the steeple off it? And you can say, well, you don't know if there was a steeple. We're going to go on, uh, we're going to go on Google and check out this area. Because I have something more interesting than just this. But this is one whole place. This was always a church, I think. I don't know if that, this building right here is part of that structure. I don't really care because they chopped it in half and did make it a different structure. And it's probably a new structure. Not everything is old world, let's face it. But that's why I'm doing this because this has always struck me odd. And it also has these windows, which is strange. And it has this very peculiar design for no reason. Now this, okay, another, I know, I know that some people know what these are. These are relievers or something, like methane relievers or something. Uh, I don't know, I guess I could look it up and tell you guys. Now, I wanna tell you something else. They did a lot of work on this area at one point. And right across here, right across here, and we'll go over to this thing. Listen. You hear that? It's got pressure in it. Whether that's relieving air pressure or water pressure or gas pressure or whatever, I'm sure it's one of those things because that apparatus or machinery, whatever that pipe is used to control. So they did some work over here. They dug this all up and they put a fence around it. And, uh, you know, they didn't really let anyone see in there until they were putting the grass down. But as you can see, they did a terrible job because this park used to be beautiful. But ever since they've been messing around over here. And then we have this over here, which used to be the community garden and it was set up to be the community garden. And you can see they took the community garden away from us and they shrouded it in mystery. But I think I know why it's a mystery. And we're gonna get to that when we go to Google. Same thing with all, all, all with, with this kind of thing. The terrible job that they did tearing up the, tearing up the park. And we're gonna go. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say that this, I've been in this building, so I know it goes way far down. It's like a dungeon. That's a carport that goes down, down, down. And the first flight of stairs that are in this door go down. So, anyway, huh, I never noticed that pattern right there. What is that, some kind of S? Wow, the camera picked up something I never even saw before. Hmm, what is that? Anyway, on to my next. I want to go 
And this has nothing to do with, I'm just going over here to, uh, nah, I'm scatterbrained. It's because my mind is down the street now. It's not over here where I'm going. But I think I already showed this. But I might as well have it in the same place. Again. You know, this park, I wonder, like I say about these things. I wonder if these things aren't moored down into the ground, taking the energy right out of the ground, and they give us a wire occupation to keep the people busy. We need people to build millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of miles of wire. Yeah, that'll keep, that, that's, a, that's a good job. People, people don't have, people, all people know is they're building wires. But there's no wires for the realm. All the energy is free. And these towers are just gathering energy and they don't need the wires at all. You know, I'm just speculating, but of course, a lot of you will think, well, he's probably not too far off. And a lot of you are thinking like me, I'm probably way off, right? I probably don't know jack shit. I just speak about how I feel. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. I don't know about evidence. And like I said about that brick building, that facade of brick building where I went to school. You know, here's another one of these pipes. Uh, you know, like I say, These things are definitely made to withstand, <coughs> excuse me, made to withstand a, a fair bit of pressure. So what's going on with them? They, and I, I think I already mentioned, they used to, see what we got. Uh, I forget what I was saying. But I might, uh, I don't know, I suppose I could just keep. They used to keep this park immaculate when I first came out here 20 years ago. Uh, this park did not look like this. There was no, um, like the sides used to be cut. It didn't flood. The sprinklers were in good shape. Now they only use recycled water. I don't know why. Recycled water is the death throw for a lot of areas I've noticed in California. When I first came out here 20 years ago, they didn't uh, use recycled water all over the place. But I noticed once they started putting up these signs and saying how wonderful they were, that they were conserving, conserving, conserving. Nah, that's just meatball stuff. That's just meatball baloney. They, um, it's just, they're, they're using recycled water because it's shit and it doesn't do really anything good for anybody. I, hey, I don't even want to get into, yeah, we have these here in the park, like I've said a million times. The, the, the park, something's going on underneath California because we have elevators and trap doors. And like I said, I'll show you on Google. And then, of course, there's a park just like this over there. And I want you to realize something because when I go to Google, I'm going to show you that this park, the one behind it, this park, the one ahead of it, they all line up and we're going to get to that, so don't worry. But right now, I have to kind of make a beeline to where I want to go. Uh, just to show something very odd 
um, I'm probably umming and ahhing and like, like, like a lot because, you know, I got my mind on 14 different things while I'm trying to do this. And I'd like to go out and uh, do more on the ground stuff. But I don't know how interesting even that, you know, that church is to you. I, I've always just had a funny feeling about it. Now, I know that building is supposed to look like it's segregated, but it isn't. So that's, that's one weird thing. If nothing else, that's weird because if they planned to build, if the current society planned to build that corner, You know, was the plan, okay, we'll make one giant building and then split it up as we need to. I, I don't think so. Not, not out of brick, anyway. Because, like I said, we see that brick uh, painted over. That's genuine brick. And the place where I went to school, that's a brick facade. And, of course, as I said, this... Wait. Oh. At the very least, three, if not four, facades over that and over that and over that. Anyway, I'm gonna go down here. Hope it doesn't get dark before I get there. So I'm almost, I'm almost where I want to shoot. And now that I'm thinking about it, gee, I hope I can get, actually get a shot of it because I forgot how shrouded you ever notice this trees blocking everything? I'm sure other people have mentioned that, but it's interesting. Trees and vines and bushes. <laughs> I'm not saying there isn't any sensible reason for trees in this. Obviously, everything's a conspiracy to me. But yeah, here you go. Interesting, right? This whole building is kind of interesting. I mean, I don't know if that's copper or steel or... Obviously, they re in my opinion, they replaced what's in the middle there, right? But those... One's damaged. Maybe something taken out of there. Possibly. I mean, I don't know. Oh, there's, there's more I never noticed. Oh, look at that. There's two more. So the architecture said, the architecture of this building said, oh, no, 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 no. We need, we need, we need iron, copper. We need some kind of balls on the top of this building as a decoration because I say so. Because I think this is a good idea. They're barely on there with anything. I mean, these are... I wish I could hold this steadier. If I knew, I would have brought my... That's as far as I can zoom in. What is it? See if I can get. Isn't that odd? Don't you think these are odd? These are these are odd. Who who decided? As I say, I just I don't know. If the architect just said we need this here. Not sure. I find it. I find them strange, just like I, just like I think that church down the street is strange, and of course the shape of the school that I went to. 
Yeah, I might be able to get something. And right here, uh, whether you care or not, you know, I live right, right in the area where all these places are. I'm surrounded, I'm literally surrounded by All the big studios. So yeah, there's six of these up there, and uh, I don't know what they're for. They might have been for something. And here's the whole building, if you care. I mean, it's the only thing I would say is it's on this giant retaining. It's on this giant retaining wall here. People looking at these videos would be like, retaining walls are regular for the world, and yeah, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. I mean, I could have a whole discussion with you. I'd be willing to debate you that retaining walls are. I, the reason why this retaining wall here is because this sidewalk. I mean, I'm not saying it's definite, right? But this sidewalk might be part of the roof of this building because the retaining wall is covering what's leading out to this point. You see, we got this, then we got this, and then we got this, and then we got this, right? So that it's, it's tears. And I know it's tears because if I walk over here, and again, we'll just look at this building. I mean, it has some really nice terraces. No, are those not the coolest terraces you ever seen? Seriously, I, I do like those. I don't know if the camera's doing a good job over here. There's one right above the door. I mean, can you imagine if these were actually elevators at one time? Who knows, I'm just playing around. But another giant retaining walls, right? And guess what? This place goes down instead of up. And then when you get in that elevator, you go down again. And then we go, see, so, so we come down these stairs, right? And then we go up those stairs. I don't know, man. The, the architects were like, yeah, let's make people go up and down and up and down and up and down. Why? For what? Just make it flat. Well, it's not flat. That's, you know, and of course we go down into the, right? And look at that wall. It's not graded per, per, per. Can you see? Oh, jeez. See if I can get this. The, the grades. Uh, uh, well, the problem is I can make the camera look uh, straight, even if it's not. The grade on this is wrong. You don't grade a wall going uphill. Because yes, professionals use measurements to get things straight, I would imagine. Anyway, uh, big grade, you know? Big grade, big retaining wall. Uh, am I saying this is old world? No idea. But what's with those balls? The architect, the architect, the architect just had to have, the architect just had to have those on there. Couldn't do without them. I don't know, just, you know, some anomalies around. Everywhere, I suppose, everywhere you look. But uh, I did this because I thought, you know, if I never do it, I will be sorry when I leave this area that I never said, hey, make a move a little make a little video about this anomaly that's here and i didn't want to forget those balls either so on i go back home to go on to google with you now it's gonna seem like magic but i got a long way before i get there get onto the googles okay see you later looks like we're recording Okay, so here we are on Google. This is the park we were in, and we were walking near this power line. And this is where the gurgle pipe is. And diagonal that, 
an unused plot of land. Across the street we have a funny shaped building and the church. Zooming in we see that something was attached to this tower, probably a steeple. We can see in four spots that there are symmetrically aligned moorings or structural supports for whatever was secured on top of here. And following our diagonal path through the park across the street, this plot here was a plant and tree nursery business a while back. Then it was the site of the community garden that was taken away from the public. And then it was closed even to the public eye. Now we were told we couldn't use this land because the city was drilling and building a tunnel. Who knows if that's true. Personally, I'm going with repairing or trying to keep old stuff from collapsing or preventing a flood of the topsoil, just like what I suggest they were doing near the gurgle pipe at the park across the street. They are coincidentally in line with each other. Just some possibilities, right? Now we have another piece of land that's perfectly diagonal from the gurgle pipe and the construction site. And this plot of land has more power lines. Before we go any further northwest, let's take a look back here. Now see this different shade of color? This is where the other gurgle pipe was. I have a suspicion that these were plumbings for fountains or gardens and the area looked more like this at one time. You know, there's many, many of these gurgle pipes on these kinds of plots of land all up and down the city. You know, some of these plots are no trespassing zones. There really doesn't seem to be a reason for that. There's nothing on these plots except dry dirt, dead trees. You know, nothing grows on the majority of them. Some of them are fenced off and some of them are not. You know, they just sit in the middle of neighborhoods like that with signs saying don't come on this patch of land per order of the city with a criminal code attached to them. So this is the area where I stand in when I said there's a park behind us. So let's go look at this land and we'll follow this stretch of power lines. This particular piece of land is completely fenced off and is off limits. Obviously, I must correct myself and say it's not a park. It's a power line park. And this piece of land right here is a little park. It's a no smoking park. Then we have a street. Notice there are no houses on this path. Someone paved all this. Then we run into another triangle that is a park with power lines, but no houses. Direct, no, directly diagonal that, a parking lot, not a development. Just giant slabs of concrete and sealer, right? Then a four laner and another parking lot. For some reason, they really don't want to build on this long diagonal spot in Burbank. Another park with power lines and another parking lot. More vacant lots and then another park. That's as far as we're going to go for now, but we'll come back to this point. So right now we will have a flyback to our first park and follow this land. We'll follow this land and just circle things so you can stay with me as I move. Again, we have roads separating the land, not neighborhoods or houses or even buildings of any kind. Now maybe these power lines are on an old filled in canal or energy grid or pneumatic, vacuum, electric transportation tunnel. You know, maybe they simply tore up the train tracks here for, you know, I'm, again, it's just speculation. Here's another large park. This one is legal, but not as elaborate as the one near the church. They never bothered to put money into this uh, power line park. Now we come to a spot where it's doubled up. And there is a giant energy grid right here. A very large power station, if you will. Has it always been there? Don't know. Now the track has gotten wider and they still don't want to build anything on these lines except for more energy gathering devices or power lines, however you want to put it. 
I want to make a I want to make a note here that I took a video of my visit to the Burbank Historical Society and they make zero mention of anything I'm displaying here. They don't even have a story about the power lines being set up. So who did the power lines? I mean, I can imagine there'd be one whole section of the building about the men who constructed all this stuff, right? There's just no evidence of any of this stuff going on, you know? And, and, and we're talking about the Burbank Historical Society. Isn't that what that's for? Anyhow, so as we continue along, we see this diverging path we will follow that one after we're done continuing along, continuing along this first one. So where does this path finally lead? A dried up waterbed or a place that certainly looks like it stored water at one time. So this area is huge, right? And we still have some evidence of a small pond of water right here. It's possible that it was a central station for transportation technology. It's such a large piece of land to be turned into desolation. They certainly don't want people to know what was there. I mean, I mean that would certainly be the reason to turn this land into what it is now. And we have something even stranger up here because this is definitely water diverting technology that got dried up, abused, and dismantled. Now this path ends at this huge building and directly diagonal where this would go. Again, no houses or neighborhoods. And then it starts up again and goes into the mountains. Now we will go, now we will fly down to where it diverges and see where that leads. You can see that it continues from there to another dried up body of water, reservoir, pumping station, whatever you want to call it. Again, people don't live in these areas. They seem to be stripped. I know I keep repeating myself, but this is kind of bizarre. You can see where the water is coming from. You don't have to be a geologist to just see what's going on here. So let's give this huge thing a look. It's a dam, I don't know, apparatus, structure, not sure really what to call it. Look at the sides, they seem to be washed away. I'm asking myself, did people destroy this structure? Or did a catastrophe ruin this thing and flood out the valley? Or is it that it never had signs and I have no idea what's going on with this intelligently made rock structure? Because there's no doubt that that's what it is. I suspect our civilization didn't build it because as we take a look here, let's follow this. Canal. I didn't realize this. I'm not sure how many people realize this at all, and I'm not even sure how many Californians know the extent of what's going on here. Let's follow this. The logistics of this are pretty profound given the fact that whoever did that dam at the mouth of the mountain had to do this too. And this isn't small, right? And this isn't small either, if we can see it from this height. And we have one converging with this one, and that's a whole nother story, right? Because who built another one? 
but we'll just stick to this path for now. I mean, mysteries of the realm. So they call this the Los Angeles River. <laughs> you know, hardly. It's a stone structure. So some of the people watching this video don't live here. And maybe they've bumped into information about the Los Angeles River. Well, this is what they're referring to. A monumental feat of engineering that isn't mentioned in the historical society. Or history of the valley at all. And I find that strange. Look, it seems to me that we didn't need any of these highways that parallel this canal. You just get in a boat and go anywhere in the city that you desire. Tell me that's not true. This thing is amazing. And it gets wider, and it gets wider in some parts. Uh, I would suspect for bigger transportation. So I used to work at a company that sat on the canal and they had a big and they had a big fence that you couldn't see through and then they had another bigger wall after that and a gate door to the canal that was all chained up tight there used to be a way right to the canal from the gate door but that was a long time ago you can tell that nobody was servicing you can tell that nobody is servicing these gates the locks the walls the fence you know it's just a bunch of junk put up to keep people from going in there. And then they just forgot about it. So a lot of this is really, really old. Because, you know, I've seen it myself. And then we have another one coming into it. I mean, this is mind boggling. This thing's huge. Who built the railroad tracks to parallel this thing? That's another question. That's a whole nother video, right? <laughs> Did they just throw those up too while they were building this giant wall carved into the ground? And where does this lead? If you guessed right out to the Pacific Ocean, then you'd be correct. So this structure goes all the way through the valley without stopping. So what happened? When didn't California have water? Because that looks to me like a bogus statement. Looks to me like they had an abundance of clean, fresh running water all through the city for, I don't know, what, aeons? So that's the story of how the church begged me to look into the trail leading to something fun and interesting and thought-provoking. My position here is that the valley could have had its own world fair. I don't know how destroyed this part of the realm was when it was found. Nevertheless, I think we could also be looking at the remnants of an earth star that's been completely diluted and covered by modern man. In my opinion, we are seeing telltale signs to suggest such a thing. Any of your comments would be appreciated. Anyway, thanks for watching.